let's do a quick thrift haul from my favorite, new favorite, one of my favorites, a local thrift store over Labor Day weekend. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a quick thrift haul from Regenesis Thrift. That's the name of the thrift store. There are two locations here in my Richmond, Virginia area. Um, this is going to be short and sweet. I have a pair of shoes and like a jacket and then I have a little bit of jewelry. So we're going to do the shoes and jacket right now. And then I'm going to flip you guys. We're going to go into my light box. I'll flip you downward so that we can look at some necklaces that I got. All right. Shoes first. And um, if I sound different, I'm working with a cold here. But I got my hot tea over here. And um, with my hot tea, I am doing um, honey chamomile, honey vanilla chamomile. Um, I thought the honey part would be good for the cold. If you know of a better hot tea for when you are congested, fill me in. Fill me in. I'm all for new hot teas. All right. Let's get started. Let's get started. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I just can't resist picking this brand up. These are Vionics, and I thought they looked really good. But they are a little bit, well, I guess it's a good thing. They're grandma core as they can be. Look at all the flowers. Um, but I thought that they were in good shape. They do show, you know, some wear right around in here, like a little bit, but not a lot. The bottoms look excellent. Now it does say $8.99 as the price, but everything was half off that day. And I think for Labor Day weekend, they were taking another 20% on top of that. I mean, I was getting some excellent deals. So I paid either four or 450 for these. I'll pay $4 or $4.50 for Vionics any day. It looks like some place had them on sale at, or was trying to sell them for 39 at some point. I'll check comps and see, but Bionic is a great shoe brand. It's just that these are a little bit, a little bit on the grandma side. That's okay. All right. And then the one clothing item that I bought was this Chico's and it still has the tags. Um, and it retailed for $149. It's a Chico size two, which I think is a medium ish, somewhere around a 10 or a 12. But it's this jacket that's kind of a mesh um, with these large leaf motif. And it's in purples and cream um, with the, the base of the mesh being like either black or navy blue. I'm going to have to hold it up to something black and see if it's black or navy blue. But how cool is this jacket? I love it. I love it. And an interesting Chico's piece, I can't resist. I cannot resist an interesting Chico's piece. I wondered if the color was on here. What does it say? Travelers. Oh, so this is Chico's Travelers. Even better. People look for Chico's Travelers because I could essentially ball this up, put it in my luggage, don't even have to fold it, and it's going to come out and be ready to wear. So Chico's Travelers is excellent. Printed stripe floral embroidered jacket multi. So no, they didn't list any kind of colors. Um, so yeah, I I love a good Chico's piece. Good Chico's Traveler's piece is even better. Okay, let's get into jewelry. Okay, y'all, we are back and hopefully in focus. Um, so I do like getting jewelry at this thrift store and there are certain brands that I can find there like clockwork um this is just a you know a gold tone chain I don't know the name of this type of chain but I'll google it 
I, I always Google types of chains and then um, try to figure out what it is. This has really honestly become, well, yeah, this has become one of my bread and butter brands. This is Sarah Cov. So you see the Sarah on there, Sarah Coventry. Um, and it, oh, what is on my nail, y'all? Okay, that was on the outside of my nail. I don't know what I got into. Um, it was half off of $2. So I paid a dollar for this. It's in nice shape. I like it because it can be unisex. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you my process for making sure this was Sarah Coventry because I had never seen that cursive jewelry mark before. Um, so the first thing I did was I put in over at Google Sarah Coventry jewelry marks and I found this site um, called, Ad I think it was Adirondack Girl and it was a vintage Sarah Coventry jewelry collecting guide. So she had a wealth of information. I scrolled through, I did read it, some very interesting stuff. I didn't know that Sarah Cove was sold like in home shows, a lot like Avon, but I stumbled across these pictures with Sarah Coventry's signature. And once I saw that signature, I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure. And then I found this picture with Sally Field as the Flying Nun and Rosemary Clooney. And Sally Field as the Flying Nun, that was a TV show in the late 60s. I think it ended around 1970. So that gave me a really good idea of when this piece might have been out um, because of the signature at the bottom of that page. So um, that was one way. Well, then I also had another picture I'm going to pop up. And let's look at that. There's a patent number. If you weren't sure, you can look up a patent number and find out when was this patent um, given, I guess, is a way. When was this patent granted? And you can punch that in, punch that number in, hit your search. I'm going to hit the search right now. And scroll down and see like who applied for the patent and when. Sometimes you'll find it was the jewelry company that applied for the patent. Sometimes it's just an inventor and then he sells that patent. So you see coupling device. A coupling device would be a clasp, okay? Because it couples two chains together, right? So it's this James R. Johnston guy and you see February 18th, 1969. So that really does a good job of telling me the era of that chain with the cursive Sarah Coventry that I had never seen before. Um, so if you didn't know, you can do this with just about anything um, if you can find information like that. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas on what you can do. You can even go so far as to Look at the guy's name and see what all patents he's applied for. You could type in, like it saw Sally Field as the Flying Nun. Type in the Flying Nun. When was it out? Like, when was it popular? And, you know, find, find information like that in case you didn't know. So, I hope that that helps you guys in your hunt um, for jewelry and finding information out about um, jewelry. I feel like that would fit a man or a woman. Um, all right, this one, look at that. It's like a white uh, acrylic beads and this gold, gold tone little flower in the middle. So that this was probably $1.50. It would have at least been half off of that, if not more, okay? Um, just a spring ring clasp and then flip it over to the back and we see Sarah again. So another Sarah Cove. Now what I'll have to do is take a look and see like when was this the signature and when was that cursive one the signature as far as maybe decades go. Um, not well versed on that. 
So I will check it out and see. Um, this one I love. Love this necklace. Look at that. I love mixed metals. Mixed metals are my jam. So you've got just these hammered hoops in like a gold tone and a silver tone. And I was happy to see that with the B for Brighton and that it's not tarnished all to heck because Brighton tarnishes. Do you see this? Because I know I got it for half off. So I got a Brighton for 50 cents. Yes, ma'am. All day. <laughs> all day. Um, excited about that one. All right. And then we got this little two layer gold tone or two strand gold tone necklace gold tone chain just some little little gold tone balls or beads on chain and 25 cents because it was not 50 cents and can we see that let me pull that down can we see Monet I got Monet for 25 cents I can't cry about that. And then, um, I, I was excited that I went on that Saturday. I think it was a Saturday of Labor Day weekend. It could have been the Friday. I can't remember. Um, some days I'm lucky to remember what day it is. We've got this faux pearl, um, gold tone chain, kind of a longer necklace. But Monet has also become one of my bread and butter brands. Um, and then here we've got Napier, again, another bread and butter for me, and it was a dollar fifty. So you can see that I got some fun pieces, some beaded necklaces, and like I said, this one chain that I thought was great to be unisex and the Brighton piece. I almost never find Brighton in the thrift store. So guys, that was everything. That was, that was all I had. Um, maybe I'll turn around and say goodbye to you guys face to face so that we're not so impersonal here. Hang tight. Okay, we're back. I didn't feel right saying goodbye without like saying my usual goodbye. So I flipped you around. That was it. That was quick. Uh, super affordable thrift haul that I know I will make good money on. And until the next video, I'm going to say, a tout à l'heure. See you later.